Hey guys, my name is Wilson. I'm a junior scientist. I like to do all sorts of experiments. Um, sometimes they go good, sometimes they go bad. You just never know. But this one day, everything was just going wrong. Well, I sat down and took a rest and I heard the radio talking to me. There was this guy, he calls himself Maxwell. And he tells me that he can teach me all the secrets of the world. Well, you know, I figure I'll give it a try. What could it hurt? Let's uh, try to explore your knowledge and see what we can come up with. So I worked day and night trying to come up with this really cool machine that he told me that if I build this, I'll be able to do anything. So I got to work on it and I worked all day, all night, for about a week, I'd say, and I finally got the thing done. And he says, well, go pull the lever. Let's, you know, kick this off. And I don't know, I was real hesitant, and he just said do it. So I did. But little did I know, this wasn't a machine to help me. It was a machine to be put into his experiment, his world. I was kidnapped, and this is my story. There he is! That's the punk that tricked me! Find something to eat before night. Oh, my head. Ah, I've been kidnapped. Where am I? I don't even know, but he said I better find something to eat, so let's gather some berries. Luckily, I was in the Boy Scouts as a kid, so I kind of know the basics of survival. You know, you kind of need stuff like that sometimes in life. So I'm going to gather some food and stuff to make me some tools, and uh, we'll see how this goes. This rock looks like it has some metal in it. Oh my goodness, I think that's gold. Alright, I'm going to need some of that. When it comes down to building my science machine. You don't even know. Once I have this machine, I'm able to prototype anything I can imagine. And uh, I think that's going to be necessary to survive. You know, I don't know this stuff off the top of my head. I used to when I was young, but... Uh, I gotta build the science machine and this is gonna help me get my myself started, but need a little bit of gold. Need some wood, some stones. Yeah. I've been noticing these rabbits. Look at them, they look funny. I think I'm gonna have to get one as a pet. We'll worry about that once I have a place to stay. Dear Diary, I've decided I need to start keeping track of where I've been and where I haven't been. Maybe make a map or something. So I need to keep that in the back of my head. Dear Diary, it gets extremely dark here at night. I don't, I don't know what I think about that. It's, it gets super dark and I can hear these voices. I don't know. It sounds like something whispering out there about me. I have this constant feeling that I'm being watched. I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. I'm just going to keep adventuring. I need to find a safe place to stay. Look at this. I found a farm. There's a farm of some sort right here. So I've just been wandering around all night. And I'm telling you, it feels like the darkness has eyes. Like I'm just being watched all the time. I don't know. There's this metal potato thing right here. I don't I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it alone for now. But I need to take note of this place and remember. I think tonight I'm gonna sit down and draw up a map so I know where I'm at. 
I've been remembering all the places I've been. Wait a minute. This was just off the beaten path. I've heard of these. So this, this pathway? It led me to a village of pigmen. I hope they don't mind, but I'm going to take all the berries I can. I know I can survive off these. I'm going to have to find a better way to eat one of these days. Um, I'm going to get to know all the... All the villagers here, and uh, we'll see if they can help me in my journey. All right, bye, guys. Well, no, nope, they've never heard of Maxwell, so they they don't know what I'm talking about. And what is that? It looks like it's breathing. What? Ah, it's like soaking wet around here. They told me that there's these fish people that I need to watch out for. They call them merms. So they put their heads on sticks and they try to scare the merms away. I don't know. I don't want to run into those. All right, guys. Well, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to see what this thing is. Wormhole. What? I don't know. I just feel compelled. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, my God. You should have felt that. Uh, this... Does not look like a good place to stay. I think I'm gonna go back. All right, I'm just gonna keep adventuring. I still need to find a good safe place to stay. All right, well, it's been evening for a little while now. I think I'm gonna have to call this forest the Forest of Spiders. There are spiders everywhere. This place is pretty creepy. I think I'm going to try to make camp over here by these pig guys' houses. Just for the night. Just for the night. I'm not going to stay here long. Well, I think I'm going to cook my food and maybe drop a map of everywhere I've been. That way I can try to figure out where I'm going. Maybe contemplate something for the future. Oh, this place is scary at night. Oh, man. That was my second night in a row of no sleep. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going to go crazy or something. I don't know. I'll be all right. I have I have my ways of soothing myself. Um, you know, I really love flowers, and I think it'll make me feel a little bit better to pick some flowers and get out of this crazy forest. But... At least I had some, some good productive experiences overnight. I got me some wood from the trees, and look at this. I built a map of everywhere I've been. So now I at least have an idea of where all I've been. Now, just to find a place that makes me feel comfortable enough to uh, hunker down and make camp. Look at this place. I found my next friendly pig village. These guys really are pretty nice, and I think I found the king. Yeah. Oh, he stinks. Alright. Well, I'm going to get away from here. Um, these guys sure are nice, but I still haven't found where I want to live yet. Well, this is as good a place as any to go ahead and hunker down for the night. I'm going to get some rest. Well, I wasn't sleeping very well last night, so I decided to go on a walk. This place is really amazing. I've seen some, some raccoons that sound like cats and, I don't know, just... Everything I'm finding is so obscure around here. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, man. Are you guys friendly? Yeah, they're so cute. Look at them. Oh, as a scientist, I know manure is really good for growing crops. This stuff, you mix it in with the soil, and oh, it just makes some of the best. Well... These guys are quite comforting to be around. 
And since they're friendly, maybe, just maybe, they could help me out in a pinch. Oh, this poor guy. I don't know what he was building, but he's got some us useful stuff sitting around here. Wonder why he died. Is that gonna happen to me? Well, I've decided to set up camp right here. Um, I feel like it's just got the best of everything. I got my my trees, my twigs, my grass. I can even get a pet rabbit or two. Um, and I have a neighbor right over here. I don't know. This may be a good place to actually hunker down and relax a little bit. Maybe take my shoes off. So I'm gonna try to set up camp right here and we'll see we'll see how it goes. Well, he won't be needing these anymore. Oh my fire. It's going down. This'll fix it. Oh yes. I made a nice little farming spot overnight. And uh, I don't know, I've got a game plan. I'm feeling good about this place. Just maybe I'll actually survive in this cruel weird world that Maxwell shoved me into. You know, it was all a lie. He lied to get me in here. He told me if I build this machine, I'll have endless possibilities. And what now? What now? Well, yet another night. Been up all night just contemplating things. And, oh look! I have a new pet. Oh, he's gonna be my best friend. He's gonna be my best friend. Oh. Man, I'm so happy. I have a pet rabbit. I've always wanted a pet rabbit. Well, he'll be my best friend forever. So, last night, I couldn't sleep again, and I decided to build a kind of, I guess you'd call it like a suit of armor out of logs. So I got this wood all strapped around me with some rope, and... Um, I don't know. Makes me feel a little tougher. It really does. It really does. Um, but I'm thinking today I need to go on a journey. I need to find. I need to find more rocks. Um, if I could get some more rocks, I'm pretty sure I can make a cooking pot. I used to be a pretty darn good chef, if I do say so myself. And look what I have found. And voila! A cooking pot. Um, this is a crock pot of sorts. And oh man, I know so many recipes. Here, I'm gonna put my friend. I'm gonna put my new pet rabbit uh, inside here for now. He can just he can rest and relax here. We'll we'll even give him some food. Um, let me eat some first. There you go, buddy. All right, he's got food. He can relax. He can just have himself a wonderful night. And, you know, my uh, shovel broke, and I figured out that I have never actually made myself a shovel. That last one I had found, so I really needed a shovel. So we're going we're gonna to go find some more twigs to dig up. That way I can, you know, just grow my own supply. Look at this, my first crops, finally. Oh, man. I'm starting to become a botanist here, I think. Here, I'm gonna plant some more. And let's see, what can we do, what can we do? We could try a little bit of this monster meat and uh, maybe cook it with a sweet potato on a stick. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but you know what? I'm willing to experiment, that's what scientists do. What did we get? Looks like some kind of wet goop. I don't know about that. Maybe I'll eat it if I really get hungry. 
meantime, I'm just gonna eat some berries. Let's put the berries back in here for my friend. He looks like he's loving it in there. You know what? I think I'm gonna name my rabbit Willy. That, that's a great name and it suits him. He looks like a Willy. Well, here I am wandering around in the rain. But you know, I can't stop thinking about my best friend, Willy. Oh man, it's so nice to have a friend in this cruel world. I'm just so happy that I came across him. Dear Diary, my new best friend Willie didn't survive the night. I think he just forgot to eat the spoiled roasted berries. He just forgot to eat. Who, who does that? Who forgets to eat? Anyways, I'm really sad. And I hate to say it, but now I'm going to have to eat him. Oh man, poor Willie. I'm going to have to take revenge on the world for this. I just really am. I'm gonna have to take revenge on the world. <laughs>